awesome. Yeah, so this is the same field that we actually used for that uh, for the video that we shot for something new when we were doing Famecast, and it's a lot colder now. <laughs> um, it's late November, which it hasn't been cold until just about a couple weeks ago, but it's kind of cool because if we look out and kind of see this, it's uh, really representative of uh, Passerby. You know, that's the name of the next record, and you know, we kind of use like a lot of barren fields and, and things like that and older kind of rusting things a little bit just to, uh, you know, I guess number one, you could say like, you know, well, that's what people are using now. But <laughs> more than anything else, it, it, it just kind of signifies that it's just like things come and go very quickly, you know, and along with the main theme of the record, you know, it's just like when you see something that you think you know and, it, and it's not actually there so i think stuff like this is you know kind of relevant i guess if we were out in the middle of the desert in like saudi arabia or something <laughs> seeing mirages that might be you know the most relevant you could get because then it's just like cool um yeah but i thought this was pretty representative so, so how is the passerby album uh coming to fruitation are we going to make the december release that we talked about earlier you know uh looks like we're going to have it all mixed and mastered and everything by then and the artwork is probably going to be done thanks to these pictures no i'm just kidding <laughs> um, but um we probably won't get the cd production done by then so what it's looking like we might do is have like a an mp3 release um i know that amazon just started uh well actually i just got my old CDs put on Amazon and it took them two days to do it, you know, wow. whereas I did it on iTunes and it was like four months. So, uh, if they can do it all that quickly, we might just upload that puppy and get the artwork there and for people who want to have it sooner than later, they can get the MP3s and then looks like the, uh, the CD is going to come out whenever we actually have a tour booked behind it. <laughs> I think that having a CD that is like, has had a lot of thought go into it is ultimately going to be better in the end because it'll just be like, you know, we really spent a good amount of time and we weren't scared to take extra time and we thought it was necessary to get the best possible product that we could out of it. So Indeed. I think it should be cool. What were we going to say though? Oh, I was just going to ask you what kind of tour you're thinking about, like Rock the House supplemented with oh, man, absolutely. bars and coffee shops. You could not get me to go away <laughs> from Rock the House. Um, we, we're on the cusp of a few opportunities right now, which I feel like I shouldn't mention, just if nothing else, just out of superstition's sake, because whenever I, whenever I mention them, they usually end up not coming through. But if a few of these opportunities come through, touring could be a little bit different this time around. However, if none of that happens, yeah, my touring will be coffee shops in some places, it'll be full on rock venues in some places, jazz venues in other places, rock the house thrown in in between. <laughs> All of it. I, I love doing that. So especially when you've got a new record that you're really, really proud of to, uh, to kind of go alongside that.